NPP policy advisor Emma na nadu dan kwa ekufado orab wache ja kon e dia tudwa won sentro fo nhie mudie bia wo de hihie so asese wo hu se amampanyi aba ebi ko na wo de wo mo maba ko nyina e tutu amampanyi John Dramani Mahama ho a wo hu ni se amampanyi John Dramani Mahama onu na na mamu o eye kon ne ma sei na enko yie kra wo se enfinhia be se edunu ma etwem ni Ghana yensi kasi don abra bra 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 mesidi enya ho to da e de bepem ene Oru abu achi eja ko ese NDC manifesta wo mko ko da ne de eche se bo sara nko chum e na ewo mu e nso se Ghana fo nyina e be di adanse a wo mbe hun se nko mampanyi mahama ne na ban e be si Ghana fo so a enko ahye mo ma wo se o ma Ghana si ka se nyina tete apansam enko yie wo nyina ye nima e di adanse se aban wo incompetent ontumi mu adwuma enti wo se se ma Ghana fo en troba e ma o mampanyi mahama ene NDC aban en fie nan fo fra e di ye nim oru abu achi eja ko eche se en fie nan fo fra e di ye nim no se Gana for etu abama or mampany John Draman Mahama, any NDC a bindia, any a bayo or how any a benedia pa and wafa edia to omo e hosso. In today's Ghana, with so much suffering and hardship, nothing shows that John Mahama has put Ghanaians first. After all, today they pay more for their electricity than their rents. They bear testimony of how four years of doing so destroyed their small business. And Ghana's young people who live with the nightmare of searching for non-existent jobs, a situation that has led to nearly half of them, of that population being jobless. A government that puts people first is a government with competence, compassion, foresight, discipline, and integrity to implement policies that will help create jobs, not one that will kill jobs with poor policies. It cannot be disputed that President Mahama has made Ghanaians poorer. The prices of everyday items have skyrocketed under John Mahama. Dr. Alhaj Baumia provided incontrovertible proof to show that the Ghanaian economy is in crisis. Ask any spare parts dealer in a Bosokai to clear goods from the port, they pay a total of 18 different taxes on the items they have brought in. The relative but shaky stability that the president claims we are seeing has been made possible because of the IMF bailout. This simply confirms President Mahama's incompetence and a lack of vision. Ghanaians elected him to do a job. He has failed miserably. And yet, he claims he is transforming Ghana. I think the slogan ought to be deforming Ghana, deforming life.